Hi, I'm Philip Gardner. I'm a rheumatologist from Ireland and I'm reporting from ACR Chicago 2018. And today I'm going to talk to you about vasculitis. And as a clinician, I was interested to go to the posters and to find out a little bit more about PET CT imaging. And I found two interesting posters that I'm going to tell you about. One study from Barcelona, Dr. Estrada, told me about how using a bolus of steroids actually meant that the PET CT scan result was showing up as negative. But on one of the other posters, it was clear that if you treat patients with a few days of oral steroids, that the PET scan was still positive. So I've been learning from these uh, tests that they're using a score called the PET-VAS to assess how severe the vasculitis is, and that some units are also repeating the PET-VAS scan uh, after about six months. And they're able to show significant reduction in activity. One of the other groups, Dr. Shonan from Erlangen, looked at the difference in activity before and after methotrexate and before and after tozolizumab. And in the eight patients who received tozolizumab, all eight patients had complete remission of their PET CT scans. Whereas in the group treated with methotrexate, there were about 31% of patients who still had activity on their scans. So for me, the take home message was that I need to be doing more PET CT scans and I need to be getting more access to tozolizumab to treat these patients. Now, if you want more detail, on research on vasculitis, please visit roomnow.com. Thank you.